Hello everybody, uh, howdy high performance ski racing enthusiasts as well as uh, recreational racers and probably most importantly uh, ski racers and masters racers. This is Lee Eddy uh, coming to you from Wilmot Mountain, a little uh, ski hill outside of Chicago. I'm one of Pat Sipes pro reps and I first off I want to thank Pat for sending me uh, next year's skis to uh, to have at the hill for the weekend this past weekend latter part of February and uh, have a bunch of the gang from our race group uh, test these skis out both in free skiing but uh, most importantly uh, with the race is that we had this last weekend so um, again uh, thanks Pat for sending the skis down and uh, what we're gonna do is just talk a little bit about the response that uh, that we had from the hill this past weekend regarding these these two new skis I've got the new Firebird WRC Giant Slalom Ski and then the new uh, Firebird Blizzard Firebird SRC Recreational Slalom Ski. So we're going to talk a little bit about these skis but right out of the gate the response for both of these skis was just overwhelming and people definitely did notice uh, the newer shape and could feel the new construction as it pertains to uh, a little bit tighter turn radius which did feel good as uh, we're all getting a little bit older but still held rock solid underfoot for both of these skis, both in the GS course as well as the slalom course and even just free skiing. So um, let's dive into it just a little bit because uh, I know everybody's going to have a chance to offer these skis up to, uh, to your respective ski areas and uh, ski enthusiasts in your neck of the woods. So uh, let's get started. Mountains are formed over millions of years. Millions of moments. Something about them inspires us, challenges us. Friendships are forged there. Lives are forged there. Sometimes legends. company in Austria has been personally shaping the mountain experience for nearly seven decades. In a sport where character is measured in hundreds of a second, you pay attention to the small stuff. Precision matters. Great time may or may not be about the stopwatch. There's a precise moment of pure joy when you feel that every step was right, leading to this sweet spot. Leading to this fine line. The first thing to talk about right out of the gate is the fact that again, uh, both of the skis, the WRC, the Firebird WRC and the Firebird SRC are very similar in construction to the World Cup skis, the skis that we see on the World Cup and some of the best skiers in the world racing on. Um, just detuned a little bit for us, but uh, still the same power, the same energy, the same basic design. Um, it has the traditional wood laminated construction with a very strong layer of titanol in the ski to give it uh, some power and stability and some snap. Uh, but there's a couple of other features in both of the skis, the SRC and the WRC, that they've added this year to really make this a brand new racing ski. Uh, the previous WRC and SRC were great skis. They'd uh, been in the lineup for several years, but this truly is a new ski, both the WRC and the SRC. And we'll talk a little bit about the internal construction. 
So again, uh, the foundation is the traditional World Cup construction, but uh, one thing that stands out very quickly on both the WRC and the SRC is what's called the armor plating. Uh, and it's actually an inlay on the top of the ski, but it's a carbon layer that runs from just behind the uh, binding plate to just in front of the binding plate. And what this is designed to do and what you can feel that it does is actually create stability in the middle of the turn. So when the ski is laid out, when it's arcing, uh, it creates a very solid underfoot feeling, especially on the hard packed snow or the ice. You could definitely feel it. The testers, including myself who were on the ski, could feel the rigidity in the ski uh, when you had it laid out, when you're arcing through the turn. But right underfoot, it felt incredibly solid. So you can see it uh, right here uh, from hand to hand. It's a nice layer of carbon that uh, really does uh, have an effect on the performance of the ski. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the spine technology. And what the spine technology is, it is basically a vertical carbon rail, a layer of carbon that is vertical to the ski. It's not the horizontal inside of the horizontal laminate, but it is vertical to the ski, but inside of the laminate of the ski that runs from tip to tail. Um, and each one runs just off the edge of the ski and a little bit outside of the center, center of the ski and uh, it is a carbon rail. And what that is designed to do is to create uh, incredible rebound out of the ski at the end of the turn. And you can definitely feel it on these skis. When you load the ski up on hard packed snow, you can feel the energy coming out of the end of the turn. Uh, it's also designed to create uh, phenomenal edge to edge power transition. And again, underfoot, uh, coming out of the turn, uh, you can really feel the energy in the ski. And then that combined, this new spine technology combined with the fact that the ski is three millimeters narrower underfoot, uh, really creates very quick edge to edge transmission to start with, but then the power out of each turn in each one of the transitions of the turn. So um, just a great design. And when you ski the ski, you can definitely feel it. I had a chance to race on it this weekend on uh, some pretty hard packed snow. Um, I could definitely tell the difference between last year's ski and this year's ski. And I love last year's ski. We have a lot of folks uh, racing on the WRC, but um, it's noticeable in the new ski. So uh, really in the list, the third feature to talk about with the new skis is the new shape. Both the SRC and the WRC uh, do have new shapes, a little bit more shape uh, on the skis. The 180, which is probably going to be a pretty standard size, the 180 now has an 18.5 meter turn radius. The 185, a little bit longer, or maybe a little bit more stable on bigger hills, uh, has a 19.5 meter turn radius. Uh, and then of course, the sizes go down from there to 175 and 170. And again, you could, feel, uh, you could feel that in the course. I raced the 180 this weekend, and I have to tell you, it did feel nice to be able to pressure the ski at the top of the turn, uh, to feel it come around a little bit quick, more quickly. Uh, and be real strong underfoot and that's probably a, a result of me getting a little bit older year by year So it was nice to still have the the race stock feel the World Cup feel But have to work just a little bit less to get those results uh, The same thing with the SRC the SRC has a, a little bit more turn in built into it the 165 in the SRC is now a 12.5 meter turn radius and the 160 is a uh, 12 meter turn radius. So again, a little bit benefit there uh, for a ski that we call a recreational ski or a master ski, but still want to ride it and drive it like a, uh, like a World Cup ski or make us feel like we're World Cup skiers. And one of the last features that stands out is really what's called the new FDT race plate. And it's very similar to in, in construction and uh, stability and uh, even stiffness, it's very similar to the Marker World Cup plate. The nice thing about it is, is detuned, it's just about 10% softer. So uh, for us master skiers, recreational racers, um, it allows the ski to flex just a little bit more naturally for us. And uh, again, a little bit less work driving it, but still same performance, same feel as the World Cup plate. Uh, and really the same design also when you see the plate you can see that the way that's attached to the ski um, in one stationary location but still allows the ski to flex in a normal pattern by the rails in the front uh, are the exact same 
as the World Cup ski. So uh, same performance, same feel, same quality, uh, just about 10% softer for us that see ourselves as more masters racers and recreational racers. So again, a great feature in the new FDT plate.